In this tutorial, I'll show you some issues you might run across when switching between Blender Render and the Blender Game Engine. Okay, so here I am within Blender Render and I have this simple cube lined up like this. And I'll just go ahead and render it with F12. I have a camera pointing at the scene. Here's my camera view right there, like that. All right, so I hit F12. It's like, well, it looks pretty nice. Rendering looks good. I mean, I don't see any real issues with it whatsoever. And let's, I'll escape this and I'll go look around. And it looks like there's, yep, it's got side effect that what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a light in the scene real quick. Hang on so you can see this. I'm going to add just a little point light. GX. I'm going to move it over here and there's this side. So everything's looking good like that. All right. So, but however, if you happen to be working in the game engine, that's a whole different thing. Game engines are designed for performance and we'll switch over to the game engine. And so in for performance, Faces. Well, no, actually, let's do one more thing. Let's go back to Blender Render for a second. We'll go into edit mode here. And let's just take out the top of this. Take out that face and we'll re-render it. Okay, well, and there it is. Same thing. Still there. Nice on the outside. Nice on the inside. Like that. So, but maybe in the game that you're trying to make, you're making your interior walls. Maybe this is your chamber that you're running around in or something like that. But when you go into the game engine and it plus so I'm in Blender Game and I press P to start. Whoops. I'm in Blender Game. Oh, well, I see the problem is I have to get out of edit mode. Okay, now, now I can press P. And when I start it, well, the other side of the object disappears. Well, it actually hasn't really disappeared. It's just it hasn't rendered the inside of that other thing. In fact, you can see it. If I take the camera, I move it back over here. I'll grab this cam grab the camera. And I'll move the camera so it's looking at the other side here like this. And then I'll press P. And now you do see it. But now you don't see... Let's see if you can see it from over here better. Yeah, now you don't see... That didn't really show it. Let's see. Well, now you don't see... If I press P, you don't see the other side. But you see this side. Okay. So what it does, game engines typically only render one face of your object because it saves memory and it saves speed all right so it doesn't have to spend the time doing sides that it thinks you're not going to see but in this case I want to be able to see both sides because obviously that's not correct so what you can do and it's a quick and easy trick is you select in fact look at that you can't even select the inside of faces or like that okay so you select the object from here on the outside you press shift D and without moving the mouse, I just, I mean, I can either press the enter key or just left click. So I actually have two objects in there. And I can verify because that says cube.03. But if I click over here, now I can, I should be able to get that guy. Oh, there he is. He's cube02. And then the other one's cube03. So what I want to do with one of them is I want to flip the normals inside out. So I'm going to tab into edit mode. And I'm going to press A and select all. So I have cube 0, 3, it doesn't really matter. Then I'm going to go down here to mesh, and I'm going to go up to the normals, and I'm going to flip the normals. All right, then I'm going to press A, and I'm going to tab out of it. I'll just deselect everything. So now I should have two identical objects, one with normals facing in, one with normals facing out, and when I press P, there it is. You can see the outside of the one and the inside of the other. But of course, it's going to take a lot longer to process so you have to keep that in mind you, in when you're building games definitely efficiency and speed is what you're after okay well that's it for this lesson and I'll see you in the next lesson